Hi everyone, it's Kylie from Painted Wing. In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to paint these chickens with watercolors. I'll have my supply list and reference photos in the description of the video. I will also be playing a quick demonstration on how I paint this rooster portrait. If you want to see the full tutorial, I'll have it available on Patreon for all paid members. Before starting the three chicken painting, I'm going to give a quick demo on how to draw a chicken. If you already know, you can skip this part and go right to painting. I'm going to start off by sketching out a light circle. And after sketching a circle, I'm going to draw a couple lines coming off of it. I'm going to be using light angular forms to draw out the sketch. This here is for the neck and head of the chicken. I'm going to gently erase that, and then I'm going to round out the head here. And this is the tail area. I'm going to create an arch line for the tail feathers. And then I'm going to connect these areas. And now let's sketch out a beak. And then I'm going to draw out some face details. I'm not sure what the red things are called, but I'm going to draw those out. And then the eye. And then a feather here. And a couple more marks just for the feathers. And then a couple lines for the feet. And now I'm going to be going over my sketch of a darker pencil just to redefine the shapes. For your actual painting, I wouldn't use a pencil this dark. I'm just using one this dark so you can see it in the video. And then there's my final chicken drawing. If you want to paint the other chickens, I'll have the reference photos in the description of the video. Next, I'll be going over the colors we'll be using for the chickens. I'll be using yellow ochre, cadmium yellow, burnt sienna, cadmium red, burnt umber, and Payne's gray. If you don't have all these colors, just find something similar. Once you have your sketch and materials ready, let's get started painting. I'm going to start off by adding yellow ochre to the beak of the chicken. And then for the eye, I'll add burnt sienna. And then next, using a small round brush, fill in this area of red paint. The round brush I'm using is a number zero by the brand Princeton. I'm just filling this in with a saturated amount of red. And I'm adding some red down here as well. And then gently fill in this area of red too. And then just keep adding some red. And now let's start filling in the body of the chicken. I'm going to start off by using burnt sienna paint. I'm using a slightly larger round brush than I used earlier. And now using a slightly smaller round brush, I'm going to add some more pigmented burnt sienna. I'm just filling in the neck and the head of the chicken with this burnt sienna paint. You want to add this paint after the face details are fully dry. Next, we're going to be adding yellow ochre to the body of the chicken. I'm adding this paint while the burnt sienna is still wet. And then going back to my small round brush and burnt sienna paint, I'm going to create out some small little feathers down here. If 
And now using a number eight round brush, I'm gonna paint out tail feathers on the chicken. I'm using a mixture of yellow ochre and burnt sienna, about a 50-50 ratio each paint colors. And now for the chicken's feet, I'll be using a mixture of yellow ochre and cadmium yellow, about a 50-50 mixture of each paint color. And then while the wash is still wet, I'm going to dab in some burnt umber. A few more dabs of paint. And then while the wash is still wet, I'm going to add some more burnt sienna to it. I'm just adding some variety to the wash colors. And on the edge here, I'm adding some burnt umber. And now while that chicken's drying, I'm gonna work on another one. Again, I'm adding yellow ochre to the beak. And then yellow ochre to the eye as well. And then again, let's add some cadmium red to the face. This chicken is going to be a slightly different color. I'm going to start filling this in with yellow ochre. I'm adding wet paint to dry paper. And then on top of the head, I'm adding some burnt umber. We're going to have the paint color transition from a dark brown into the yellow ochre. And the topmost part of the head, let's add some Payne's gray. Dab in some black into the wash. And now let's add some tail feathers using yellow ochre. And then add some more brown up here. And then using a small brown brush, add some more brown details over here. In order to increase the value, I'm going to dab in some saturated amounts of gray paint. And then some burnt sienna. This will add some variation to the colors. And then I'm just dragging out some fine little hairs out of the wash. And then using a small round brush, paint out the feet with yellow ochre paint. You can either fully paint out the feet or just leave little impressions of them. I'm just blow drying it until the wash is very lightly damp. And then while it's damp, I'm going to dab in some clean water. Once the feet are dry, add some small details to them. You can add the details of yellow ochre or light wash of brown paint. Now that the chicken over here is fully dry, let's add some final details. For these details, use a small brown brush and paint gray paint. I'm keeping my paint pretty saturated. In order to get your paint saturated, just don't use a lot of water with it. Carefully outline the eye. Then define some shapes over here. And then a little pupil. Since these chickens are pretty small, they won't be super detailed. Now let's add some details to the chicken's body. Using my burnt umber paint and a small round brush, I'm going to paint out some feather details. 
and a little zigzag line here. Then you can create some more feather marks with some brown or orange paint. You'll just want to layer these marks after the first layer is mostly dry. And another layer of burnt sienna. And to really define the feet, I'm adding some Payne's Gray. That chicken looks good. Now let's move to the other chicken. We'll be repeating the same steps. We'll be defining the face details of Payne's Gray paint. Create some little dots of some brown paint. Make sure that your wash is dry before you add these details. And then paint out some little feather marks here. I'm just creating some curved marks. And a couple shadows on the front of the foot. And now for this final chicken, we'll be doing some of the same steps we did earlier. Add yellow ochre for the beak and the eye. I'm just lightly filling this in. And then add your red paint again. Just carefully fill in these areas. And then some right on top of the head. For this chicken, we'll be painting it a gray color. Start with a medium wash of Payne's gray paint. And then dab in some brown on top of the gray. And then add some extra water to your gray paint to dilute it. Add the diluted mix to the body. We'll have the gray transition to yellow ochre. So back here I'm adding a slight touch of yellow ochre. And then after dipping my brush into gray paint, I'm adding some little marks here. Be careful painting in the head area if your paint is still wet. I'm adding some more gray paint. This time I'm just making sure it's a little bit more saturated. And then I'm going to dab in some more saturated gray paint. And then create some tail feathers using just a few brush strokes. I'd recommend using a medium sized round brush for this process, such as a number 6 or a number 8. And then while that's still wet, I'm dabbing in some yellow ochre. And I'm adding some more details of some gray. And then drag out a foot using yellow ochre. And then to create texture to your wash, when it's just slightly damp, dab in some clean water. You might have to wait for your wash to dry a little. Now that the face is dry, let's add some details using Payne's Gray Paint. Just carefully outline the chicken's features with a saturated amount of gray paint.
I'm adding some circles here with some gray paint. And I'm just defining the back. Then create a wing shape using either gray or brown paint. Just a few brush strokes here. And a few more marks back here. Some details on the legs and feet. And then if you like, you can splatter some paint on all the chickens. And then these chickens are complete. Thank you so much for watching as I paint these chickens. And now I'll show a quick preview of how I paint my rooster. Again, the full real-time tutorial will be on my Patreon account.